Now I've been getting a lot of questions about VR support, controller support, joystick support, racing wheel support, pretty much all different elements of immersion and realism in regards to GTA 6. And in today's video, I'm gonna tackle some of these questions and try and get to the bottom of whether GTA 6 will actually have any VR support. But firstly, I've got to do a quick bit of housekeeping. I've had some people on social media pretending to be me on Twitter, on Instagram, and they're telling people that they've won prizes and that they need to enter into competitions and all sorts of stuff. And obviously it's just negative having someone pretend pretending to be me and posting things as me when they're not things I would say. Take for example this post which literally makes no sense whatsoever. So if you would take a second or two to head over to my actual social media accounts and follow them, obviously by having more followers it just makes my account look a bit more official because I don't really promote my other social media merch. I do use Twitter and occasionally use Instagram but if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff and what I get up to between videos that's where you'll see all of that stuff. Predominantly it's just me posting about random stuff I'm thinking about. But go and follow those accounts, those are my only official accounts on those platforms so yeah go and show some love so recently i've been messing around with vr quite a bit in fact i did a video the other day which by the way is my favorite video i've ever made on the channel and it has the lowest views out of any of the videos i've made on my channel honestly after this video go and check out that vr video i promise you you'll find it funny because it was hilarious to make. And it's featuring Justin. So yeah, I've been messing around with VR quite a lot and I'm loving VR at the moment, but a big question I have been getting is about whether GTA 6 will have VR support. There's reasons for it, but there's a lot more reasons to say that GTA 6 won't have VR. So let's start off with the reasons for there being VR support. Firstly, Rockstar are a very technology focused company. They do adopt new technologies and they're very good at implementing the technologies that they have within their games. They're not perfect at it, but they're pretty good at it nonetheless. We also know that Rockstar have been dealing directly with Meta, formerly known as Facebook in regards to doing a refreshed version of GTA San Andreas in VR. The problem with that is that was a couple of years ago that we first heard about it and it hasn't happened yet. Some people have said it hasn't happened because they're going to be focusing on doing GTA 6 in VR. I disagree with that completely but it's food for thought at the very least. The next reason for not necessarily VR support, but maybe having controller support or joystick support for planes, for example, is it's very clear from the trailer, Rockstar are putting a lot more emphasis on realism when it comes to the interiors. Now having cars feeling more believable and looking more believable would lend some weight to the fact that maybe we could use a steering wheel to control a car or maybe a joystick to control airplanes. If they are focusing on realism and immersion as their press release stated back in December, then it does lend some weight to maybe these being additional things that we can do. And the final reason why there could be some form of VR support is based on what we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. We were able to interact with people, pick up items, and everything felt way more accessible. We were able to open drawers. Now with a VR controller, that makes perfect sense. We have the buttons that literally control picking up things and it feels way more intuitive to use. However, and this is a big however, <laughs> we need to talk about the reasons why GTA 6 probably won't have VR support or even controller support for that matter. So firstly, let's cover what VR is. Virtual reality or in some senses, augmented reality where we have pass through modes and stuff like that. So far, it hasn't become a staple of the gaming community. It is an accessory. It's an additional. And for most games, it becomes the reason why people play those games. A lot of games that are fun in VR, if you just simplify it down to on a screen, they're not as fun. I think Population 1 is a prime example of this, but it does beg the question, do people play VR games because they're fun in VR or because they're good games naturally? I'm not saying that this will influence whether GTA 6 has VR or not in any way, but it is an interesting talking point when discussing whether an already exceptional game would need VR to complement it. Virtual reality games are a gimmick and there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of people seem to think that that's a negative connotation, it's not. Gimmicks are fun, but VR is a gimmick. I got my MetaQuest 3 last year when it first came out and to be honest, I can count the amount of times I've used it on maybe three hands. And this kind of leads on to the next point, which is fundamentally VR is flawed. It's intuitive to use, but the problem is our biology as people doesn't align with the technology that's there. Being in a VR headset for most people, I know for a lot of people they're fine with it, but for most most people being in a VR headset for extended periods of time is disorientating, it makes your face hot, it makes you feel dizzy, disorientated, it just makes you feel overall a bit uncomfortable. Now Grand Theft Auto is one of those games that you'll be able to sit down and play for four or five hours at a time. With VR it doesn't feel like that will complement the experience for most players. And also that is combined with some of the technical limitations. For example the battery life of most headsets is nowhere near the average playtime for the average GTA player. And then another major technical limitation that we really need to address is most VR games use a lot of low poly count models and lower resolution graphics to compensate for the fact that they're having to render in a 3D world in real time. They're having to make these trade-offs to get higher frame rates because lower frame rates in VR is very disorientating. When playing with lower frame rates on a PC or on a screen, for example, it's not the end of the world. Like, 
It's annoying and some people may not like it, but it doesn't make you vomit. <laughs> but in a VR headset, lower frame rates will make you feel very ill very quickly. So the trade-off there is gonna be reduced graphics. Now, Rockstar don't strike me as the sort of company that would make that sort of compromise. Obviously, everyone can have their own opinion down below, but I don't think Rockstar would like their game to look like a low poly count system for the sake of having VR technology included. And at the moment, there's a huge fundamental debate going on about what the frame rates for GTA 6 will actually be. A lot of people are saying that it's gonna be 30 frames per second or 40 frames per second. A lot of people are hoping it's gonna be between 60 and 100. I think for the PS5, it's gonna be 30 to 40 frames per second and for the ps5 pro maybe up to 40 to 60 i don't think it'll be the same on both consoles because but to be honest there's no benefit in getting a ps5 pro if the only difference is going to be the frame rate i don't think we're going to see a massive bump in graphics quality i don't think we're going to be reaching top end pc specs so i think the only real benefit we're going to get is things like frame rate maybe dynamic range stuff like that now if you really want gta 6 to be vr you're probably not going to like the rest of the video <laughs> like i've said in previous videos rockstar are going to make this game the most commercially viable game possible so it needs to be accessible to the most amount of people to create gta 6 in vr rockstar will need to divide a whole segment of their company a whole team and a whole individual entity to work on the VR support for the game. Now, looking at the people that they currently employ, whether it be through Glassdoor or LinkedIn, they're currently not employing anyone in the VR field. They're currently not employing anyone that specializes in VR or augmented reality. So maybe this could be something that they sub out to a third party team. But once again, the expense of making a game like GTA 6 compatible with VR isn't the same as something like Population 1, where it's loads of sets of relatively speaking small maps with low poly counts with very simple modeling and very linear game structures. With GTA 6, it's a whole different ball game to port that over to a VR system. Now let's talk about third party controller support. So things like like Logitech G27 or G29 steering wheels, or maybe even steering wheels from Thrustmaster. No, not that Thrustmaster. I mean, this Thrustmaster. And stuff like airplane controller joysticks and stuff like that. Now, the problem with Grand Theft Auto as a series, it's not a core racing game. It's not a core plane flying simulator. It's not a core boat simulator. It's a combination of different modes of transports, different themes and different topics. So whilst Rockstar could make steering wheel support work excellently within the game, I don't feel like they would because you'll be in a car and then you'll be out of the car running on foot. Maybe for races and stuff, it would make more sense. But overall, Rockstar isn't a master of any particular field. They're kind of a jack of all trades. So having individual vehicle types focus on third party controller support, I don't feel like it's something they'll do. However, it is actually possible to play GTA with third party controllers yes it requires some mods and some third party inputs but all you're doing is remapping a standard controller to work with the steering wheel force feedback even works with some of these additional mods i think the core issue with gta 5 is stuff like with airplanes you're not able to adjust the flap settings you're not able to flare the plane properly there's so many different things that you can't do that would make using a controller more interesting but of course they have to build that core functionality into the vehicle for it even to be worth considering now it's something that they could do i don't personally think they will but i would personally love to see it so yeah let me know what your thoughts are on that down below Below. Now this brings me on to my final point in this video, which is we need to decipher whether Rockstar are aiming for immersion or realism because they're not the same thing. Realism is having a realistic world. Immersion is a byproduct of realism. So when something's realistic, we may feel immersed, but having something like VR, which naturally is immersive, doesn't necessarily feel realistic. So for example, with Population 1, yes, it feels immersive, but it doesn't feel realistic. You can look around and clearly see that this doesn't look like a real world that they've built. It's clearly a game. However, from that press release that we did get in December, where Rockstar said they're focusing on immersion, that's a very interesting point. And it's the only thing at the moment that I feel is lending some weight to some controller support or maybe VR support. But overall, I'm still very hesitant hesitant to believe that. Now, I think it would be absolutely incredible if they did both of those things, but we have to take everything with a pinch of salt and look at this realistically. Now, if GTA 6 did work with VR, it would be great for small stints at a time, maybe the odd mission here or there. But the truth is we would be looking at lower resolution, lower poly count models, with a reduced frame rate, potentially it would only work on higher end PCs. Obviously we wouldn't be able to run it on our headsets and our consoles wouldn't be able to process that whole 3D environment in the same sense that our VR goggles can. So I feel like if there was VR support, we'd be playing a much lower quality and worse game. But there is a silver lining. You can currently play GTA 5 and VR with some third party mods. Yes, it requires a really powerful PC. Yes, it's janky as hell, but it is possible. And I feel like with the way the technology is going, in a couple of years when we receive the PC version the game 
and it's been out for a while and modding companies have got involved and VR technology has got more accessible and cheaper, I feel like someone would create a way for GTA 6 to work in some capacity in VR. It might be glitchy, but it could still work. So to answer the question, will GTA 6 be in VR? Probably not. But will it have controller support? Potentially. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and if you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.